Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. I've been quite busy between episodes, so let's have a quick look at what I've been doing. First of all, I've automated the um, chamber here. I can't remember what it's called actually, the acceleration chamber I think. This one. So, the crystal growth accelerator in chamber and I've basically put on here uh, an import bus and on the behind it I've put an ME interface. So we can now craft pure things. So if we look for pure, we've got these are craftable. So if we craft, say, 10 of those, you'll see it's actually going to start that and it's going to put them into here. And we, strangely enough, it doesn't seem to put them all in fast enough. They've already started to grow by the time they get in there. But it doesn't seem to matter because what's also happening is in the 1K storage, this one here, the, what we're doing for this one, there are actually, so I've got some here actually. Let's have a look at the recipe for this. Aha, <laughs> what am I doing? Ah. Recipe. Uh, sorted, of course. We're using quite a lot of uh, calculation processes, and they're basically, the recipe for those is calculation printed circuits, and the recipe for that is pure cities quartz crystals so we're actually use, using these very fast so that's actually a bit of a problem so but they're still working away they're still making lots of these one case storage cells and so far i've got 37 plus four so we need 64 of these before we can actually say we're done but the next step in doing this is to actually take these and make them to six four k storage cells so let's have a look at the use of the one case storage cell here um, basically we have to put them in the assembly table so we need four 1k storage cells plus two blocks of redstone and one glowstone block and 32 flux crystals or flux dust well I've got that prepared actually as you can see so let's go and put that into here let's go make a recipe for this first of all because we're going to need a recipe so that was making I put a recipe, created a recipe for hardened glass because that's another one of those things which is gets used up quite a lot so it was four of these two redstone one glowstone and 32 fluids will make a 4k now let's go and put those into the into the machine here I've got no idea how much power these use but I reckon it's quite a lot so that one that one that one and that one and then we can click the 4k storage and that will say it's going to use how much is that? Nearly 400 million RF. I suspect it's the same as this one. It is the same as this one. So to make the 1K storage, it's the same as for the 4K storage. Okay. So this one's nearly finished. And as soon as this one's finished, it'll start to do the 4K storage one. So we'll have to wait a bit of time for that to actually happen, I reckon. Oh, I think we've got to go 64, so we've got another 16 after this, plus the 64 after that. It's going to take quite a long time before we get around to doing the fusion walls. And the only way I can... Th and let's go back to the fusion wall here, actually. Have we got it in? Yes. Fortunately, it makes 16 each time, but we've also got to make coal chunks. So let's see if we can do that as well. So that's compressed gold ball. So that's a coal ball. That's flint and coal dust now have I got a recipe for coal dust I'm not sure I have actually I've got 24 and I can craft them good by pulverizing coal good in fact I think it pulverizes I'm not sure I've got it pulverizes I think it pulverizes complete coal I'm not sure I've got a recipe for that we'll find out anyway I've certainly got Venus coal ore which we can decompose and that's fairly good and that will actually give us carbon. Okay. So let's get on and do the this bit. We need flint. So that's why I've got a pulverizer here and a sag mill. Now flint, the best way to get flint is to sag mill gravel. And I don't think, let's go downstairs and see what I'm actually doing downstairs. Because to be honest with you, I've forgotten. What I have done downstairs here is to turn off this for the time being because it's used up all of the, this is the basic the compression to make triple compressed cobblestone here. And that's basically used up the whole, all the cobblestone very quickly. So here we've got 
um, cobblestone coming in and that's going to be making gravel yeah so the gravel is getting then imported into the system here that's sand so gravel's getting sent across here so I think it's a good idea if I also import gravel and export it into this machine so let's do that first of all so this is an import bus so if I increase the capacity here by one Oops, that didn't work as a crafting card that's why capacity card I need and then we can put some gravel into here let's see if we've got any gravel free yeah we've got one gravel here let's put that into here and then we can turn off the output here so we can basically shift click this it turns it off so that's not going to go out anymore but it wants it to go out the top so let's do orange and then they both go out the top so that's now getting imported into the system we need to set up another well I'm, I'm just looking at this this is not very good at the moment for my purposes let's just go underneath and take the cables underneath here because we can do that as well I think oops pickaxe would be useful I really want the power cable to run underneath here don't we so we got a bit more space at the back that should be about okay and then we can join this into here like that but we'll just join it across into this one and we'll remove the ones on these sides here because they're only going to these machines if I can get over which I can't that's again so if we now just take this one down here and here we should be able to join everything in like that and we can still walk over this now without having too much of a problem so all I've got to do now is to put these ones back again mint so all these machines will be powered up great so now we want this one to be importing um, so I need an export bus that's an import bus and that's an import bus let's take those two off because it's normally the best way to do it yeah it's making a difference to be honest with you I've got I'm going to remove this one from here this export bus because it's got cobblestone in it I oh, actually want some cobblestone if I've got some good so let's remove this make it look better so then we can basically come down here and import these two so what I want is the export buses on here and probably on here too this is the sag mill in fact I do want to put the other sag mill down so I'll put the other sag mill down here because we want to basically make gravel and I'll do it from keep it the right, same direction so let's put it down like this and that's going to get that in so what we want to do is we want to import into that gravel so let's put down a, an export bus on the side and an import bus on the top Oh, it's just a continuous process so I don't need to put an ME bus so export onto here like that so then we can cable these all up like that that's actually fine so now what do we want we want cobblestone coming into this one and it also had some speed upgrades I think it had at least one because it's not going to be it's not that fast it's got no augments in it so it's just a basic the same one we were going to do here and this was the one we were pulverizing into uh, gravel into um, sand weren't we so let's do that let's put the gravel in here now we can also put the gravel into here as well because we want this coming out as like that so maybe we need to speed up the cobblestone one that's no big deal and here we're importing sand aren't we I haven't got any sand in here. Have we got any sand in there? Nope. Okay, I'll need some sand. Because at the moment the sand is going to get out into the system. So let's go and get the sand. Maybe I've got some sand in the system. No, nope, I've only got salt sand. What I've done over here is I've, I've added these, all of these magna crucibles. So these are basically all doing all the ores 
and in fact I think it's actually starting to clean clean them all off that was iron so that's actually gone off the lead's gone off basically they're finishing all the ores so all the ores are being processed as they're coming in which probably means I need to speed that bit up but that's for another time I reckon so right what do we need I need to get that magna crucible no that pulverizer upgraded the cobblestone ones so that's the cobblestone one yeah let's just remove what we've got actually it's got no it's only got six in so let's just remove the machine I didn't lose anything that's good we can come up here and we should be able to upgrade this quite easily pulverizer actually I've got a pulverizer resident already prepared and it's quite straightforward to upgrade this anyway so let's just upgrade it uses of that one basically we just need an electron gear which I haven't got that's interesting let's try that again uses of that I think I missed it try again yeah electron gear and we can get an electron gear I haven't got a recipe for an electron gear I've got a recipe for others I think yes I've got recipe for these I could actually make a recipe for this one since we've got enough so anyway let's go back to our pulverizer let's pulverizer basic here that'll make it to a hardened which will basically double its speed and if we do it again we'll make it to a <coughs> signal em. if we haven't got a signal em gear either let's just have a look use it like that and I haven't got recipe for this either to be honest with you so use the sphere now that should hardened glass I should have some hardened glass because I was making some hardened glass that's why I created that recipe and then the last one to make that resident we should we will do we'll just do it like this and dirium gear and silver ingots no big deal so that's now resident if I had to put the other one back in the system that's okay too so now I should be able to put this one back again and it should start working as is without me having to do anything to it it gets the power again and now we've got these three augmentation slots so it obviously needs uh, cobblestone to come in at a faster rate in fact it should be coming in faster let's get a double let's give it two let's see if that's actually working it doesn't seem to have any cobblestone at all that's interesting in fact what's actually happened over here is this has been basically using all the it's used all the mass cobblestone all the mass cobblestones now being turned into water so and therefore the cobblestone in here is actually slowly working it should be making 32 that's like two eight okay maybe it's not making enough because it's not getting enough water in but the cobblestone should be being made I don't know what's happened to that let's go and check the system Clear that off so we keep the silver ingots. We've got 20,000. Hmm. Why is it not coming into here? Have I haven't broken something? Of course, I have. <laughs> <coughs> Having changed these machines, I didn't change the configuration. So now basically, the input is not on the side. Let's shift click that and then we can make it on the back. So that's the input. So now it should start to come in. It is good. So now we need to speed it up. Let's also fix this one as well because that's going to be the same. In fact, it's the same here as well. We want the top to be orange. We can take this off, shift click that off there. Um, yep, yeah, that's correct. And the configuration for this one. It shouldn't matter actually with the oh maybe you do need to push and pull maybe I need to push it I'm not 100% sure with Ender IO machines it's slightly different so what we need in here was sand don't we so this should be generating sand I should catch the next one I think yeah I've got a sand so we can put the sand in here as an import now does that pull sand into this machine 
no so let's configure it then let's do the top as a pull and the side here as a push okay maybe we need a speed upgrade or an acceleration card this one ah, I've got no gravel set up in here let's put the gravel in here put one acceleration card I think one's actually sufficient especially if we've only got that's what's happening here so that's now pulling in gravel fat reasonably well and this one we also need to do the same thing so oh it's great getting gravel on this one and it's pushing out flint but we can also do this on this one it would be sensible too let's upgrade this with a capacity card if I've still got one I haven't let's go and make some capacity cards have I got any cards actually available I don't have any cards available so let's just look for this one we also need to make some augments as well so let's do that first for the thing we can do this one fairly straight quickly and this one too I think we can do straight away and I probably already got an augment in here for the other one oops well I might have I've got a uh, yep so we've got these three augments so we can make it go max speed for the cobblestone so I was looking for a capacity card this one so we basically need some basic cards and I'm missing processors those were calculation processors of course let's craft 32 of these so that'll take a few seconds to actually work because now if we look at this recipe here it's got to do these seeds oh actually I think it's actually making the yes I think the stored five so it only needs five of these okay good let's have a look at how we're doing ah we've also got our 4k storage so that we can complete that one this is how oh, we got two good at least we can make four of these cards now or six Oh, we got eight so it must have made another couple before I was doing that so let's now look for the uses of this we need the capacity card so that's pure certis quartz of course it would be wouldn't it okay let's craft 64 of these no crafting CPUs available because I'm still crafting other things now I can do it to start good I'm only going to wait until they get one crystal I think and then we can at least I think the crystals will work fairly quickly in fact they're already there let's have a look they should be already imported that's a bit of a it's a bit of a nuisance having to wait for this to be honest with it did say it was Oh, it is crafting those and so they may have actually finished now so I may have actually got some try again yeah 27 green um, capacity card I'll take two of these for the time being I think I'll leave those there so we've actually got those in store um, yes I want to go here so that's capacity card in that's fine Oh, it's a flint I wanted to put into here, isn't it? So I needed a capacity card in here. And I want some flint. Got one. So I can then increase the... That's the import bus. Hold on, did I just put the capacity card in the import bus? Oh, crafting card, where's it gone to? That's what happened. I'm sure you saw. Let me do that. Um, oh, that's import. I don't want... I don't want that one, it's the export bus I want. Good. And I'm going to do the same for the on the other machine for this as well. So we're going to put that and we're going to put flint into here. Like that. And the same for this one. 
we're going to do the same. So on here we're going to be able to import put a capacity card in here, which I can't see at the moment. Got an acceleration card here. Where's the capacity card gone to here? And let's put a flint in here so it'll get better. Yes, that seems to be working. But what are we putting in here? We should be importing gravel, I thought. I know we're importing sand. Good. So that should be making, um, yeah, silicon. Great. So this one's blocked, I saw. Oh no. They should be going at the top here, out. And that's where I put the gravel. <laughs> yeah, because normally I basically put the inputs at the top and I've got the, the other way around this time. Ah, yes. Is that an X? No, that's wrong, isn't it? That should be an input. Wow, I'm doing well. Because I normally put everything in the top, so let's just sort that out. So that wants to be. I'll oh, shift click it. Oh. So it's pushing at the top. That's better, I think. It's full up with flint, and this is going up here. Good. This is basically expecting gravel in the side here it has um, so I'm not sure it's run out we've run out of gravel probably have actually because I haven't put into here yet these augments so let's get these three augments put in so that'll make gravel at a higher speed good actually that again is this an import bus I don't need to specify what I'm importing because basically just need to make sure I've got that one and that one yeah that's fine that looks good so this one is the one that's producing basically flint actually do I need I don't think I need flint in here do I for doing gravel is there only one product so there's no point in doing a secondary product so let's remove the, the flint from there in fact as it happens this is working correctly without these being set up so let's just clear this let's change the configuration on here to being blank let's see if that's still working yep it's still working good right so that's the this automation is now set up so we now got flint that was the whole purpose flint because we need flint and what was the other thing we need let's get some cards out of here I think I've got some cards didn't want to make those cards ah oh, this one I want the white the recipe for this one is that what we needed ah probably can't do that anymore okay never mind I'll have to set up a recipe for that by the looks of it because I can craft these and I can actually craft these but I haven't got a recipe for crafting the others Never mind. So, right, flint. Surrounded by coal dust. And we'll make one of these. So that's the recipe for making the coal ball. Okay, let's just take this out and actually go upstairs and actually make the recipe for this in the machine or in the crafting, in this terminal here. Ah, we need to finish that off, don't we? Because we've got this one done now. Let's get that recipe out of there. Fantastic. So now we can clear this off. And put this one into the system. We don't need it at the moment. So, right. So this is a crafting recipe. So let's change this to crafting. We'll make one coal ball. So let's go and take make some coal balls. Can I do that? Do I need to shift click it in? Yeah. And let's go and compress this and that will make a coal something else. Is it one? I'm not sure. Um, I think probably need... <laughs> that makes a head. Oh yeah, just one in the compressor will make one of these things good. I didn't set up the recipe for this, did I? Mm-hmm. 
but fortunately I did remember. So we've got this recipe now. So let's just clear this off and put this in here. And so we're going to make this cold chunk business. So in the compressor, yes, we'll just put this into the compressor. That'll make that, which has gone into the system. So let's go and get that out of the system. It won't be used up, fortunately, because we've got no recipes using that at the moment. Right, one of those, fantastic. So that is going to make, it's not a crafting recipe, it's a process recipe, one of these. So let's go and put that into the machine and in fact for that matter let's put this one that we've got here for the 4k because we're going to have to do those next which is this one into here that's getting full as well I might have to make another assembly table so this is the interface for this one is where ah yes <laughs> I moved it downstairs even forgot myself that's just an import now so that's my allows me to do the ad hoc stuff and just import it into the system straight away so now where did i put that compressor it's an a2 bit of equipment so it'll be over here yeah there we go so on mist try again so here we can make these cold chunk recipes that one so this is just a crafting recipe. So let's put this into the crafting area, which is also getting a weenie bit full because I've been adding and adding recipes into this. So we've got some space. We've got some space in there. Actually, I'll swap this over. I'm gonna... Nope, I'll leave it there. I think that's the only one I've got any space in at the moment. Right, good. Yep everything else is full maybe some of those recipes i don't need so now let's craft the next thing we needed was this let's go back to the fusion wall because if you've gotten we need these cold chunks so that's the recipe it's a crafting recipe again i squared two crafting shape crafting recipe so let's make some of those so we've got one and we need compressed cold ball let's have a look got one of those we need to craft another seven so we've got everything we need for that in fact it shouldn't take too long if I've got enough overclockers in that machine which I probably haven't got at the moment but I did make some more Yeah, we've got none in at all so let's make sure we've got some of these in here to make these at a reasonable speed i'll need to make some more overclockers but the process is fairly straightforward all i have to do is go and get some snow from over there and then put it into the system i think i don't know if i can craft any of these let's just try i thought i could now i'm short of snow see i need another 250 snow okay so anyway so now we go back to this one. We should have some more of these compressed. We've got seven, good. And we need one obsidian. So right, we'll take these upstairs and put these into the machine. If I go the right way. Shouldn't let me way around the end base by now, shouldn't I? So that one's done, so let's change this now to a crafting recipe. Clear that off first of all. Change this to a craft crafting recipe. One of those surrounded by eight of these. We'll make a ah, coal chunk. Let's go and put that into the machine downstairs. So over here. I'm gonna have to set a new molecular assembler up pretty pretty soon. Is it that free one? No, it's the front one, isn't it? Yeah. Right, that should be enough to make these. Let's go and craft some. So 
So we craft these. Let's go craft 32. What happens? So we're short of coal. Okay, we need a recipe for coal. Coal is actually fairly straightforward. Let's just make a recipe for coal. Um, we need uncompressed. We need basically this one. And I think it's just nine of these. We'll make. Ah. Is it four? I thought it was these that made crafting terminal. Let's have a look at the uses of this. Ah, oh, it's eight. Okay. So let's go upstairs and set up this recipe, and I should be able to. So that one's completed successfully. The speed we go through these blank patterns is incredible. So uncompressed. So like that. And then we have a recipe for coal. Actually, oddly enough, it's actually surprising I haven't done this before. And it's the last free slot. Okay, so that means I'm going to have to make another molecular assembler, which I will do between episodes. I think I've done it already on, recorded that already. So let's try that again. So we want these, um, what are they called, coal chunks. Here we go. What did I say? I wanted 32, didn't I? So this time it's got everything it needs, so we can start that. If I put those away, we don't need those anymore. But I don't know why I've got so much gravel on me either. Let's put that away. That should go into the system in the right place. And let's have a look at the crafting now. Yep, that's working quite nicely. And of course that's crafting these. It's just a continuous process, this one. Let's have a look how we're doing for those. 41 minus 4. What I should do is I really want to put a stack limit on this so it doesn't get filled up more than what we've got. So we can do that, of course. What we need to do is just take a... Not enough. I need something with lots of something. I mint. Let's have a look. Uh, let's sort this by numbers ascending. I got moon rock. <laughs> moon rock will do. So we just basically fill it in like this. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll do it differently. All right. I shift hold the right mouse button down and just scroll it across like that. So then this is going to only get up to 64, and then it'll have to stop. So we'll let it do that. In fact, it's not a bad idea to have a few extras in anyway. So that's what I'm doing with that one. To put that away. So that's it for this episode. Another another step towards getting on with the fusion wall, which we will carry on with next time. So until then, bye for now.